In this video, I'd like to explain how to identify alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes, and explain the difference among the three types of compounds. The two compounds at the top of the screen are alkanes. Alkanes can be distinguished by their single-single carbon bonds. Alkanes can be straight chains, as shown here, these two compounds, or they could be branched. We'll see some examples of branched alkanes in subsequent videos. The two compounds in the middle of the screen are called alkenes. Alkenes can be distinguished because they have at least one carbon-carbon double bond. Below the alkenes are alkynes. Alkynes can be distinguished because they have at least one carbon-carbon triple bond. I'm going to use the simulation in OWL 12.3 to show you some examples of cis-trans alkenes. Here we start off, with, start off with a very simple alkene. It's called ethene. Two carbons with a double bond. Now pay attention to this area here on the screen. You'll see as I add functional groups, or I should say as I add carbons to uh, these single bonds on the ends, you'll see the name change. Now notice this is propene and there is no cis-trans isomers here. Now, this is one butene, no cis-trans isomer. Now, I add another carbon to make it a pentene. Now, there is a cis-trans isomer here. Now, I can make the cis to pentene isomer if I remove the methyl group here and put it up on the top. And I could add another carbon down at the bottom. And notice now there are no cis-trans possibilities because these two ends of the chain are identical. So I'll remove this and try something new. There's a cis-2-hexene. Add another carbon, we'll have a cis-3-heptene. And I'll add a carbon up here. Notice it's still cis-3-heptene, but now we have a methyl group on number three. So things get a little complicated. But keep your wits about where the longest chain is and where that double bond's located, and the fact that we can get a cis-trans isomer out of this because the longest chain is here, and both pieces of the longest chain are on the same side of that carbon-carbon double bond. Now I'll see if I could switch these and get a trans isomer. Oh, they won't let me do it on this side. Oh well. Okay, here we go, trans 4 methyl heptene. Let's see if I can get the methyl up here and take that out. There we go. So now we have the trans of the 3 heptene. I encourage you to play around with this tool. It's kind of fun.